into the temptation of the love of money. How to avoid falling into the temptation of the love of money. Be ashe bodo big bia ye wata finu shubu sinu idonwo ifeku feti owo. I want you to know that ninety percent of people that are backsliding today and committing atrocities today are doing it out of the love of money. So this morning we are going to learn. We are going to learn how to avoid falling into the temptation of the love of money. Let's take our first covenant scripture. Luke chapter 16 and verse 13. Luke chapter 16 and verse 13. Once it's on screen, we always stand up to read. It's our first Bible reading. Luke chapter 16 and verse 13. Thank you, the King James Version. Let's be on our feet all together in honor of God's word. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet all together. And the drama we watch, very powerful, in line with my message. Let's go after the count of three. One, two, and let's read. Three. No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Let's take it again. No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will uphold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Don't sit down yet. Show us NIV version. Show us message Bible. And show us NLT. Then we sit down. NIV version. Let's go one, two, and let's go. No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other. Or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Now, let's look at the NLT, thank you. One, two, let's go again. No one can serve two masters. For you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Hmm. Pay attention to those words. The last scripture. One, two, and let's go. No worker can serve two bosses. He will either hate the first and love the second. Or adore the first and despise the second. You can't serve both God and the bank. <laughs> Be seated. Now, let us divide these scriptures into A, B, and C. Alphabetical order. A, I'll show you these things that we, sh we should look, at for, look out for or learn from these scriptures. Let's look at the A. Money is a master as God too is a master according to this scripture. That's why the Bible says no one can serve two masters. So it means that in this scripture, money and God were placed on the same balance. As God is a master, money is a master. Am I the one that said so? No. That's what the Bible is saying. As God is a master, you know why I divided it so that we can understand it. Now, as God is a master, money is a master. A master is someone who has control over someone or something. Now, whoever is a master has control over. So you don't say master to someone that is not controlling you. So as money wants to control you, money is a master that controls people. God is a master that controls people. So God and money were placed in this scripture at the same level. Money is a master. God is a master. Hallelujah. It wants to tell you what to do. A master wants to tell you what to do. And a master wants to tell you what to, when to do it and how to do it. Understand this one now. So that we can get the teachings right. Money is a master as God is a master. B. It is not possible. That's the second thing we see in the scripture. It is not possible for you to give the control of your life to two masters at the same time. That's why the Bible says you cannot serve two masters. Which means you cannot be under the control of money and claim to be under the control of God. You cannot be under the control of God and claim to be under the control of money. You are under one. 
So you cannot serve two masters. The two of them cannot be leading you at the same time. Saying, ah, ah, the way I, I, I have God, the way I serve God is the way I serve money. No, 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 no. You have to submit to one. Scripture is showing us that the two of them cannot lead you at the same time. They contradict themselves. They contradict themselves. I come again. They contradict themselves. I come again. They contradict themselves. I have seen a situation before that somebody came to give me money and God said, don't take it. Because God is my master. Do I not have need? I have need. Money is a master that wants to control me. But God said, Mark, I will not wear. I've had Pastor Debo, he said before, that somebody came to their church with huge amount of money. And as he was coming, God said, I'm not pleased with him. Don't take the money. So the two of them wants to control you. But hear me? You cannot be under the control of the two. You have to make a choice who will be master. Over. We are going somewhere. We are just trying to ex explain that scripture. I wrote here, you will have to make a choice of on who you, will, you have decided to submit the leadership of your life to. It also shows us that the leadership of money and that of God doesn't go in line. The leadership of money and God does not go in line. The two of them cannot agree together at the same time. Now look at the C, 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 as a believer, you are expected to choose who you will submit the authority of your life to. Now look at this clearly. The scripture now says, you can't serve God and money. It means that the choice is yours. God will not force you to serve him and he will not tell you not to serve money. So everybody should understand that we have a choice of whom to serve. Am I communicating? Before we begin to explain, the answer is clear. As I said, as, I expect, as, you, sorry, as a believer, you are expected to choose who you want to submit the authority of your life to. Who will influence the choices you make? Beloved, I want you to understand that money is the reason why a lot of people are falling into errors and away from God today. In fact, the money temptation is so terrible to the point that even several demon destroyers are falling now. Falling to what? Falling to the money temptation. That's why we have to talk about it in such a way that it will register in your heart. God himself, Jesus said it, you cannot serve both God and money at the same time. Now let's now answer another question because I know that somebody is confused now. Is money demonic? Is money demonic? So many people don't know the answer. Let's look at scriptures. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. Is money demonic? Is money of the devil? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. Let's read together. Let us read from the King James Version. King James Version. King James Version so that the people can get it easily. Now let's go one, two, three and let's go. For wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Combine the second one together. There's no time. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19. Here the Bible says wisdom is a defense as money is a defense. Now let's end, read this one. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, no, we are still in seven. 10, 19, 10, 19, 10, 19, 10, 19. I don't have all the time. 10, 19. I'm waiting. We some said, now let's go. One, two, three, and let's read. A feast is made for laughter, and wine make it merry. But what? But money answered how many things? How many now? Now, if, I look, if you look at the two together, the scripture says, wisdom is a defense. Money is a defense. Another one says, money answered all things. Is money demonic? The answer is no. Money is not demonic. Let everybody know that money is not Satan. It should call the now if the bible is saying you cannot serve god that money it asks what it means i will explain because a lot of people are looking at them as money now as the devil our money is the devil money is not the devil the bible says money is a defense which means if you don't have money there are some things you cannot be defended from did you hear me there are some things you cannot be defended in fact you cannot be defended from there are many things God have used money to defend me from. People have died because of minor sickness. Because they lack money. Minor sickness. Because Kosovo, they just died just like that. I've had cases like that before. They wanted to do operation for somebody. 
because they didn't have money. They said, no, we are going to apply faith. No, uh, we are going to apply faith until the woman died trying to give back to a child. Money is a defense. Now, and we have also seen that the Bible says money answered all things. There are certain things you want in life that money is the answer. You want, to, you want, you want a house to live in. You, money is the answer. You have to pay rent. You have to pay to buy land. You have to even pay to get married. Hello? You have, in fact, there is nothing you want to do in this life that you cannot do with money, that, that can be done without money. There is nothing. The chair you are sitting on in church that you enjoy is money. The fan, money. The fuel that is in the journey, everything. That's why scripture says money answered it. So the devil is not money. Money is not the devil. Why then? Next question. I'm rushing because of time. Why then is money seen as evil? Why then is money seen as evil? Kilo de Tashiwanri Owogege be a shoe. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. We'll begin to now explain. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. The Bible says, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Look at it. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, money is not a sin. Money is not the devil. But it is the love of money that is the root cause of every evil. But foundation I will show you what it means to love money. Hallelujah. Talk to me. Hallelujah. You can do better. So the Bible shows us clearly that the love of money is the root of all evil. When people allow, listen, when people allow their want for money to block their conscience, they will do everything possible without considering whether it is right or wrong just to have it. When people allow their want for money to block their conscience. You know what they call love of money? When you allow your want for money to block your conscience. Reduce this in a bit. When you allow your love for money to block your conscience, then you begin to look for money at every cost without considering whether it, it is right or wrong. Just because you want to have it. That's what the Bible means by love of money. When you allow your want for money to block your conscience. Do you know that there was a day I was driving, you know, using my uh, AC in my car. And I noticed that the temperature raised. I off the car and I called a rewire to come check. He checked it and he said, ah, sir, your fan is not blowing very well. We have to change the fan. And I said, how much is the fan? He said, let me call gate. He called gate. He didn't know that his phone was on high speaker. He didn't know. And he called gate. They asked them, the fan of this car, how much? The person said, well, for the two, you get it for 12,000, Danny. He said, he didn't know I was listening. And he dropped the call. I said, hello, no, only 25,000, no, my pay, say. Now, what am I saying? Love of money is when you allow your want for money to block your conscience. You no longer reason like human. You allow your want for money to, to, be, to drive you to the point that you don't care who you hurt. You don't care what you do. All you just want to know is that as long as I can have, you know, more money. This is what the love of money is all about. Today we see a whole lot of people doing things as though their conscience is dead. Just because they want to gain more money. I heard of one I read in the newspapers. They caught them. You know how they caught them? You know what they did? These ones went abroad to get expired drugs that the company told them to go and set a place. Hello, so I want drugs, see? Want to expire. They smuggled these drugs, 
going into billions of naira. They smuggled it into Nigeria. They were now changing the expiry date. They were erasing it. They bought the machine and they were putting new expiry date, but somebody caught them. They said they have been doing it for years. One of our daughters was sick and they were treating her with antibiotics. The doctor gave her searches of the antibiotics. She was not improving. Then the doctor came over to ask, let me see the drugs you are using. They opened the antibiotics. You know what they saw? They saw sawdust inside the capsule. They opened the capsule and saw sawdust. Sawdust. They want to see where. One more pin. Sawdust. Now, is sawdust not going to be dangerous to the person's liver? The liver will pack up now because the liver will not be able to process wood. People are losing their conscience. That's, it, it is not the money that is wrong. It is you, the love. You allow your eyes to be blinded just because you are ah, just one ah, And he said, Mubodo Luo. Mubodo Luo. What are they doing Yahoo Yahoo today? It's because their conscience, they blocked it. And in Mubodo Luo. Mubodo Luo. You are saying, ah, Oyibo, ah, eh, Monte Yibo Shefunwani, our great grandfather, they sold us into slavery. So we are going to claim the money, which means you are also laying down a foundation for your own great grandchildren too, that Oyibo will dupe them. So many things are happening today. A lot of people doing things as though their conscience are dead. People, like I said, you see people, you know, are, are, are change skills for profit. And when I changed, many years ago, I went to the market, uh, Orita Mary Market here. I was still very young that time. I was a youth. I wanted to buy rice. I said they should give me four Congos. When they brought the Congo, it was like half. Ah, ah. I said this Congo is small. They brought the second one. I used my nails to scrape it. They have melted wax. They melt wax inside the cup in the, uh, the Congo. That the Congo, if you should use it to buy it, Maybe you can get four, five, six or seven cups. I said, I don't want. They should use cup to measure for me. Use cup to measure. I didn't know that these people are experts in stealing. So they started counting. One, two. But I discovered that this lady's hand is so fast. One, two, three. And I was also discovering that I was seeing the bottom of the cup so fast. How will you empty it like that? So as she wanted to pour, I grabbed her hand. I didn't know that she would use the inner part of the cup to measure one, use the outer part to measure two. You, the way she was changing it, I didn't know. And when I held her hand, you know what she did? She started screaming. I stood up. Thank God that time I was in Manuwa. I brought out my ID card. Manuwa, Nimi. Mahalu MB. And I said, I'm a lawyer. Can you imagine? People have sold their conscience. The love of money is the root of all evil. Look at this. People choose to kill or to rob other humans for money today. People break deals, agreements because they want more money. That's why money itself is not the same. You see people enter into agreement and the other one will say, ah, yes, I agree with you. Once the deal is struck, you see that they will just change their mind. When did I agree with you? Go and bring your lawyer. The I will give you 70 percent. If you don't like, if you don't take five percent, that's your business. People no longer care. That's why we as Christians should understand that we should be different. We should not behave as if our conscience is dead. I will teach you how as we go on. But when we talk about love of money, this is what love of money is all about. What did I call it again? When people allow their want for money to block their conscience. They will do everything possible without considering whether it is right or wrong just to have money. Do you know many times they just, these uh, NDLA people will just bust into people producing Coca-Cola without approval. They bust into some sets at Agbeni here. They were producing Amstel Malta. Malta Amstel Malta, they are producing it at Agbeni here. And if you see where they were producing, they were using bat. This uh, uh, a thing that human, we, we used to bat in the bedroom. That's what they put color in and put sugar, mix it. They bought silly machine and they were producing. Because they want money. What is the temptation of the love of money? Quickly. What is the temptation of the love of money? It is when the devil trickishly 
or boldly put financial opportunities at points where you will have to commit sin to get it. What is the temptation of the love of money? It is when the devil trickishly or boldly put financial opportunities at points where you will have to commit sin to get it. That yes, you say you want money, but where you will get it, you will have to sin, commit one terrible sin in order to get it. That's financial te- temptation. The devil will tell you what well, they are doing it now. They're not doing it. They are doing it now. Uh, will you go to church and tell them? You just share testimony that praise the Lord. Alone they share for me. God did this miracle for me. You won't tell anybody now. Uh-uh. Don't tell anybody that you slept with that man to get that money. Any single time the devil puts financial opportunity for you at the point where you will have to sin to get it, understand that he is facing you with temptation in the aspect of money. Am I communicating? That's why you as a child of God, wake up. Don't let the devil get you anymore. A lot of people are falling to it. A lot of so-called pastors are no longer in the faith because of money. So one day Pass your test. Tell your neighbor, tap your neighbor, say neighbor. Tap your neighbor, say neighbor. Pass your test. Tell him, pass your test. Tell him again, pass your test. Tell him again, pass your test. Tell him again, pass your test. Don't ever forget what I'm saying. Every single time the devil trickishly, trickishly or boldly puts financial opportunities at points where you will have to commit sin to get it. He's tempting you. Every single time, he's tempting you. So when there's opportunity to make money, the first thing you should think of, are there no sin at the entrance? If there is sin at the entrance, it's temptation. Don't fall into it. Let's move to the next question. How then will you as a believer guide yourself from falling into the temptation of the love of money? How? How then will you as a believer fall into the temptation of of the love of money. How will you, as a believer, guide yourself? How will you guide yourself? Let's learn all these lessons right now. Number one, you need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We need the guide. Listen, look up if you are finished writing. The Holy Ghost is to do two things for us. Number one, the Holy Ghost is to bring to your remembrance. Whenever you are faced by temptation of money, the Holy Ghost will bring something to your remembrance. He will remind you what the scripture says. He will remind you what the Bible says. You know why he's going to remind you? He's going to remind you so that you can make your stand. You can make your choice. I have decided to follow Jesus. What about you? I have decided to follow Jesus. He's praise here with me. I have decided. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning. The Holy Ghost will remind you who you are. Say after me, I'm a child of God. I was bought by the blood of Jesus. My name is written in the book of life. I am waiting for my Messiah to come back to take me home. And I will make it at last. Always remind yourself, this This is what the Holy Ghost will remind you. That's divine guidance. I won't forget my, my encounter. I went to the mountain to pray. Only me shaking Lord, you came up. I went to the mountain along the Kiri Road to pray. Somebody took me there and we were praying. That was my first time on the mountain. The mountain, I didn't know that mountain used to be very hot during sunny season. And they told us to remove our shoe at the base of the mountain. So we climbed that mountain very high. I got there, we were praying. There was no place I could hide. But 
ile yen jo mi ni ni ese ni ah seriously a den gbadura so mo sin se bayi ah awon to wa lori okini o da ki oyibo lele so ba so mi lori kan ni oyibo jesus oyibo jesus ese nta ah gbo nto sha nse ni pe sha ja gbadura tan ki n kro i don't know whether you have that experience e be gbo na bi pe by the time we now finish praying i went to see the person in charge of the mountain ah I was telling the person that the man, things are very difficult. Things are hard. Ministry is hard. Even to eat is difficult. The person now laughs. He said, servant of God, I will help you. Ah. I said, thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thinking that the help is, ah, maybe they will tell me, don't worry, we'll sponsor out of the people that pray here. You know, we'll sponsor your ministry. We'll give you opportunities. He said, no. Pastor, you know what we are going to do for you? We will put three marks here. One, two, three. I won't forget. He said, sir, anybody you want to talk to, just use your tongue to touch that place. They will not deny you. Hey, I became afraid. You know why I was afraid? I was afraid that they may throw me from the mountain if I say no. So I was thinking, I was not thinking my heart, how will I escape? The Holy Spirit just kept telling me, calm down. Calm down. Then, she now said, it's not something we can do in the afternoon. It will only be done in the night. Can you come here next week, Thursday, 9 p.m.? I said, yes, ma'am. I'll be here. As I came down from the mountain, I look at the place. I pick race. When I got back to the church, I called my ministers. I'm telling you a story of 1999. Gather my ministers. I mentioned the name of the minister that took me there. And that minister, very rich. I said, see, minister, so and so, that took me to so and so place. Anytime you see the person come to spray money, don't be carried away. Oh, this is what they did. Oh. Let the Holy Spirit help you. When you are facing money temptation, it is difficult to get someone that will tell you the truth. Because you may be talking to the wrong person. So listen to the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost will not lie to you. Number one, the Holy Ghost will remind you who you are in Christ. And another thing the Holy Ghost will do is that the Holy Spirit will strengthen you to be able to face it. Because I remember when we came back from that mountain that I didn't go back. It's like they went to raise the temperature of my poverty to another level. I was even managing to see one meal. But this time, it's like they went to close all the doors. I remember one day, I didn't taste food for three days. When I see people that are hungry, and I told us last week for Tuesday, I know levels of hunger. Hunger has levels. The normal one is the normal one that everybody knows. Ibn Pamio, Ibn Pamio, that's normal. Now, when it goes to the second one, your tongue will become bitter. You begin to feel bitterness on your tongue. About like, Hunger has gone to the next level. When it goes to the third level, you will not feel hungry again. It's, that time is your, your, uh, your, not intestine, your, uh, your liver is eating up something. Then, when you, now, you no longer feel hungry, you now go to the fourth level. The hunger will now begin. It looks as if you want to throw up. Ah, it looks as if, if I, at that time, if you eat at that time, you are eating danger. I've seen levels of hunger. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. So, the first thing to, that's why as a child of God, very, very important, pay attention to the leading of the Holy Spirit. How do I conquer the temptation of the love of money? Number two, it is important you know how to avoid any expenses that will drive you out of your financial capacity. What's number two? Avoid every expenses that will drive you out of your financial capacity try to know your level can i tell you this truth it is not everything you can afford appreciate your level afford maintain you know why some people are always falling, always falling, always falling? They, they are, they are, their expenses is too high. I never lived in a house where people had to contribute money to pay my rents before. 
I never live in a, in a house where I need to fast and pray to pay rent before. That's me. Oh. Understand your level so that when financial temptation comes, you can conquer it. Some people cannot conquer it today because they are not living in their level. They are living in an oversized realm. So when financial temptation comes, ah, you have no choice. But you say, but you son of me. But you say, but but you think of me. I just can't cook it, but I cannot new cook it. A lot of ministers have left the truth because they are not in their level. We are renting all. Tia new what is only. We never employ staff that we cannot pay. Ah, all these instrumentalists you see. There was a time that we, had, we were doing a, an interview for instrumentalists. All of them, the ones that were, there was one keyboardist that came. He said, well, maybe I'll manage 40,000 for a start. I told them, stop the interview. They said, Papa, who they good? Stop the interview there. You will take 40,000 for a start. Which means very soon we all will be contributing our offering for him alone. Is it Jesus? Let's understand this. Some of you are living the, the level that is not yours. Avoid any expenses that will drive you out of your financial capacity. I wrote here, don't deceive yourself. By stretching to hold on to what is not, sorry, what you rightly know is not your capacity. Don't hold on what is not your capacity. Some of you brothers here, you have girlfriend that is not your capacity. You are only dating her and you don't have savings again. If you marry her, you will die. You. Don't deceive yourself. Financial temptations will keep coming. But if you leave your size part time, I'm telling you the fact, you will not fall to it. You just leave your size part time. Look at when the apostles were praying. People were receiving the Holy Ghost. That man, that magician came, Simeon. He came and said, the Bible said he offered them money. What did the disciples say? Die with, perish with your money. Because they understood that we don't have a level, that, we are not living in a level where we just need this money desperately. You are riding a car that you need money desperately to maintain. Know your size and level per time. Say here. Number three, understand that at times, hear me, the defense of your faith in Christ will make you lose certain things that the ordinary man sees as opportunity. Write this one down so that I can explain. Understand that at times, the defense of your faith in Christ will make you lose certain things that the ordinary man sees as opportunity. Now, when it happens like that, don't feel bad. Now, for instance, somebody is com coming to you with what he calls financial opportunity. And he's telling you that um, 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 if, um, if you are going to have access to that job, access to that contract, access to this and that, you will have to bow to my shrine. I've seen things like that. Conteri Bani. Telemi Loli Egbe. And the devil put the, the thing in your mind. Ah, she ma wa so she inu ni. She ma wa so she inu ni. O koma so mwen ki tu ba di be ma so fun. O ma bere ki she Christian ni so fun. O ki Muslim ni yo. Ko le li she yon. Ba Muslim na fek be li she yon fun. Me I won't deny Christ to you. People are denying him every day. When she king chat so ki me she Christian abi. Me mo Jesu. Eh, wo ma gbe she fun mi. Ko si pro le ma so ah. Ba me lo. She bo lo mo ki no o kami gong gong be. When the Bible says, for with our mouth, confession is made. 
And Jesus himself said, if you deny me before men, what will happen to you? I will deny you before my father in heaven. So some of you don't want to lose natural things because of your faith. There are times you will lose natural things. Did you get me? There are times you will lose natural things in the defense of your faith. Have I lost natural things before in the defense of my faith? Yes. I have lost several things before in the defense of my faith. People that will come to our church and be telling me what, they want to tell me what to do. I'll tell them I'm the pastor here. And they'll tell me, if you don't do this, we will withdraw our time. You better withdraw it. In the defense of your faith, you might lose some natural things. Are you hearing me? Don't be bothered. You are a Christian sister. You want to make heaven and the, your fiancé is telling you, if you don't get pregnant, I won't, I won't marry you. Are you that cheap? And you are crying. Kunle, Emeka, or Richard is telling me that if I'm not pregnant, he will not marry me. And this is me. I'm a child of God. The marriage bed must be pure. Lord, what do I do? You need to ask Lord, what should you do? Defend your faith. What did I say? Defend your faith. He may leave. You may lose. That natural thing. But can I tell you this truth? Anything you lose for the sake of Christ, it is in the Bible that you will gain it back in hundredfold. Even in this life and in the life to come. Let's take number four. Number four. How then will you, as a believer, guide yourself from falling into temptation of the love of money? Avoid corrupt friends. What's number four? Avoid corrupt friends. Evil communication is dangerous. Avoid corrupt friends. Uh, don't say, uh, 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 I will manage, I will, I will be relating with them. And uh, they cannot change me. Who told you? You don't keep a devil in your house. Do you know why? The devil knows how to operate using tricks. Dear, 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 dear. I don't know why the devil knows how to operate using tricks. And you follow her to that party. And they sit down, they offer you malt give you uh, one uh, catfish. While you are busy eating, the Baba Laie is beside her. We just say, okay, we should transfer 10 million. For one she shall look, no, transfer 10 million. Say, ah, that, Baba, uh, uh, what do you call them? Daddy, I she go, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And to Bala, to the to 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 just like that, kilo shon, oja wo lota, business wo le she. And he'll be telling you, my own baba, he'll be telling you, my own baba, he'll be telling you, my own baba, he'll be telling you. know what the devil will be doing? The devil will be working in your mind. You now begin to calculate. Pepe soup, me lo ni mufet tat, mufet fi make 10 million. Kongo rice, me lo mufet tat, mufet fi make 10 million. When baba Henry try to talk to you, just look at him and say, ah, she me, she in your body. Dear, dear, me, but she, that's how the devil works. He ain't not caught. He ain't 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 As you see me, this is me. Pastor Prince will have followed. I don't have friends that take a call. I don't have friends that womanize. I don't have friends that don't have family. I, that's, how I, that's how I surround my... I don't have friends that are corrupt. I don't have friends that are friends of politicians. Who is your friend? Now, let's go to the next one. There is no time. Are you learning something? Number five, stop believing that you can only become rich through illegitimate means. Stop it. The devil just put it in your mind. When you see people that are rich, you say, ah, I want you to When you see people who are rich, you say, ah, I want you to When you see people who are rich, you say, ah, I want you You know, who told you that you have to be Ill illegitimate to be rich? 
ta lo so fun e pe to ba dogbon si o ni lowo stop it once if the devil succeed to put it in your mind you say ah sister brother he sale ere oro o legbin ah o legbin gan what are they doing they are working on your mind i've taught you here severally that there are principles of finance that are very important if you follow it you will be rich what is number one the principle of competence sharpen yourself very well that if anybody transacts your kind of business with you they will have no choice than to come back again be 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 be, be comparable to none that's number one competence if you don't have it and you are praying you are wasting your time what's number two hear me when you make when you when you do a business transaction and make profits i've told you divide the profit into three let one go to your savings always have a savings that nothing can push you to touch now i call such savings you save it for in case of eventualities There could be sudden opportunities. That's after you must have removed your tithe. Your tithe is the first thing to remove. Now, the second savings, use it to meet your expenses. Okay, my, my usual needs, use it. The third one, put it back into your business to increase your, your, your capacity. That is your, your capital. So you now see that from every profit you have special savings you meet your expenses your capital improves even if it is small now and you are doing it repeatedly you are doing it repeatedly you are doing it repeatedly you will see that before you know it you will look back one day and you will discover that you have what you have gone far but you know the problem of our people wow jiji could they sing on jebe are am i communicating you didn't hear me so don't forget stop believing that people get rich only by what illegitimate means do you know that that mentality makes people not want to learn from anybody another signature can move a come one dog one signature can move a one dog one signature or dog one see if young ministers sit down with me today and ask pastor prince i will tell him one or two things to do that me i didn't know how to do at the, when i started that i got to discover along the line let's take the last one may you not fall to money temptation number six you need legitimate ways or sources of making money you 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 don't want to fall to money temptation hear me you need legitimate ways now talk to us we kill me what gone she that if you make a to bani nkan to nse to fi make o ti satani ba fowo dun e wo wa shubu and whatever you are doing to make money be proud of it that's why i always say in this church in this church me i will not allow any any woman to be full time housewife if your husband believe in it i will invite him I will cancel him to go and change that philosophy. In this church, I will not encourage you to be coming to sit down in the church. You sit down every morning to evening. You say, what are you doing? I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for God to bring sudden miracle. Go and walk. That's what I will say. The Bible says, and the Lord God blessed the household of Potiphar for Joseph's sake. The same thing. The Lord blessed Liban's business for Jacob's sake. You know why God did not say, and God blessed Joseph 
There was nothing Joseph was doing for himself that would make God to bless him. So that bless the house of where he's working for his own salary to increase. Look at me. I've told you this story before. I will close with it. One of my pastor friends invited me. Fast food joint. Pastor Sheka for in chicken. Because I was wondering. Any you run Jeff Miri? To invite me to that fast food joint and ask me, Shema Je chicken. Muni mi oje. Kine kon for him muni mo wa okay. But for I want to know why you invited me here. So he now said, I should sit down, no problem. I sat down. I told you the story before. A woman walked in. Looking very, very catchy. Shining. A corner wall woman. Wow. Very long. Well packaged woman. You know that she, come, she lives abroad. So she came, she sat down. She passed out there and saw any. Shaman Shesha. Ah, she said me ti ba won so. Ah, ore mi gidi ni mi ti ba so. O ma le se. The woman said, "Mo ti run awon orisirisi pastor lowo. I mo ya on pastor. She mo bishop so so and so. Emi ni mo run lowo. To pada da mi sha. Emi ti wo fi mo Zion jina. She ri bo se soro ayama tanga ni mo run ti ke ha. Ayama tanga. So I'm connected to so many charity organizations abroad. That's my business. Okay. And Sherry, uh, I charity organization. See, one man fell around, less privilege. I want to struggle over. Pastor, Sherry, I want pastors on ride jeeps, jeeps, car carry, but not in row. Let's go. Because Let's go straight to the business. He said, "Nte ma do ore yin lo ni kin ran yin lowo na pe ma mu re e ma lo put up program 7 days ma minister of jometa ore yin minister of jometa to ba the last day am adano as rise a fisil white lilon ma gbe camera man mi wa awa ni ki gbugbu awon yan na soke o ton we eat today. Ah, cast your eyes. Money should be done. Lama se. Money in lama se. For I, I book. I want to see. I want to see. Can't come now. So okay. We today. Ah, yes, simple. Ah, you should give me the nothing. No rice. Okay. Ah, but you know, I'm a, I'm a very inquisitive person. I now ask. Kila ife fi. Can no rice is okay. No rice. White line on she. Only now. That's where the thing is. Share our charity organizations here. Top back book on your so far in Nigeria. Oh, my dawo. Share the book on no rice. Okay, I'm a loss of only in America. Okay, destitutes. No one. She in your rental, you're combined. No one destitutes. But it's a package video here that that Tabati no Tabati fear and oh you boy oh my wo one day oh but sharing policy meaning pay pastor seventy thirty be angry one be my friend in thirty percent and I'm seventy. You know what crossed my mind? What Abraham said to the king of Sodom: I will not take anything from you, so that you will not say you made Abraham rich. I said, my Emma, I can't get back. My get back. My conscience didn't allow me. 
my pastor friend, if you see the mansions they are built now from that from money. Won't you want to take it to the next level? Ara ara sewing machine. Uma poor. Uma members ma gada. Wani kuni ka lugu no e tomba fun soke. For to end America. Work with your hands. Get legitimate way, way. If you have legitimate way of making money, see, all those ones will not do what will not move you. Rise up on your feet. Me, I have decided to follow Jesus. I will not serve money. I will never serve money. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. So look up. Summary. Anytime there is opportunity place in front of you to make money. You know what you should think of? Think of the process. Can a process if there is sin at the entrance know that that money is not blessing from God. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a blessing. It's a, it's a trap of the devil. Yes. It's not blessing from God some of you work in companies they put you in the store you are stealing their products selling it and coming out to look big judgment will come home. judgment come in several forms I was telling brother precious about Senator Query Madrid he was pitying the man I said they made a research of recent and they came up. There, there's this uh, 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 center for dialysis that they were to build in his village. They gave him money to build hospital. He embezzled the money. Do you know that if that hospital has been built, if that hospital has been built and the, do the daughter is a lawyer, she has kidney problem they will have done that transplant in his village yes. the innocent boy want to jack by his own he agreed here and went to deny them there but she report to UK there's what we call nemesis yes. law of seed time and harvest that's why you must be careful don't think about immediate gain he shot the rig bar Leave your size part time. If your size is one room, don't compete with anybody to steal to go and rent to go and rent a duplex. The problem we have with us in Africa is that we want to impress, sir. And there's no one to impress. There's no one to impress. Our destinies are different. So don't try to impress anybody. Live your life. Enjoy your life. With your legitimate means. Let me close. I want to pray for you. And anoint you for the month. When we are summarizing our prayer and fasting on Wednesday, God gave us a scripture. 2 Samuel 22, 37. 